Good morning, everybody. This is Paul, and it's uh, Yom Kippur. Happy Yom Kippur, everybody. We're going to do our morning prayer here, uh, as we do every day, our our daily morning prayer, and praise Yahweh for this wonderful day he has made. Let's start off with a nice shofar blast for Yom Kippur. <laughs> Hallelujah, hallelujah for this wonderful day he has made. All right, so in starting off, we're going to read our, our morning prayer here. I love those who love me, and those who seek me early shall find me. I give thanks to you, living and everlasting King. For you have restored my soul in me, uh, within me, and mercy. Great is your faithfulness. The beginning of wisdom is the fear of Yahweh. Good understanding belongs to all who do his commandments. His praise remains forever. Blessed is the glorious name. His kingdom is forever and ever. This is the day Yahweh has made. We should rejoice and be glad in it. I will extol you, Yahweh, my God, O King. And I will bless your name forever and ever. Every day I will bless you. And I will praise your name forever and ever. Great is Yahweh and greatly to be praised, and his greatness is unsearchable. One generation shall praise your works to another and shall declare your mighty acts. I will meditate on the glorious splendor of your majesty and on your wondrous works. Men shall speak of the might of your awesome acts, and I will declare your greatness. They shall utter the memory of your great goodness and sing of your righteousness. Yahweh is gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger and great in mercy. All your works shall praise you, Yahweh, and your saints shall bless you. They shall speak of the glory of your kingdom and talk of your power. To make known to the sons of man his mighty acts and the glorious majesty of his kingdom. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and your dominion endures throughout all generations. Yahweh upholds all who fall and raises up all who are bowed down. The eyes of all look expectantly to you, and you give them their food in due season. You open your hand and satisfy the idea, the, the desire of every living thing. Yahweh is righteous in all his ways, gracious in all his works. Yahweh is near to all who call upon him, to all who call upon him in truth. He will fulfill the desire of those who fear him. He also will hear their cry and save them. Yahweh preserves all who love him, but all the wicked he will destroy. My mouth shall speak the praise of Yahweh, and all flesh shall bless his holy name forever and ever. Shema Israel, Yahweh Eloheinu. Yahweh Echad Baruch Shem Kivo Mahutov Leolam Vaed. Hear, O Israel, Yahweh is our God, Yahweh is one. Blessed is the name of his glorious kingdom for all eternity. And you shall love Yahweh with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your might. And have these words which I command you this day be upon your heart. And you shall teach them diligently to your children. And speak of them when you sit in your house, when you walk by the way, when you retire, and when you rise. And you shall bind them for a sign upon your hand and let them be frontlets between your eyes. And you shall write them in a doorpost of your house and upon your gates. Yahweh, open my lips, that my mouth may declare your praise. Blessed are you, Yahweh, our God, the God of our forefathers, God of Abraham, God of Isaac, and God of Jacob, the great and awesome God, the supreme God who bestows beneficial kindness and creates everything, who recalls the kindness of the patriarchs, and brings a redeemer to their children's children for his namesake with love. O King, helper, savior, and shield, 
Blessed are you, Yahweh, shield of Abraham. You are eternally mighty, Yahweh, the resurrector of the dead, are you? Abundantly able to save, who makes the due descent. Who sustains the living with kindness, resuscitates the dead with abundant mercy, supports the fallen, heals the sick, releases the confined, and maintains his faith to those asleep in the dust. Who is like you, O master of mighty deeds? And who is comparable to your king, who causes death and restores life and makes salvation sprout? And you are faithful to resuscitate the dead. Blessed are you, Yahweh, who resuscitates the dead. You are holy and your name is holy. And holy ones praise you every day forever. For you are God, the great and holy king. Blessed are you, Yahweh, the holy God. You gracefully endow men with knowledge and teach insight to a frail mortal. Endow us graciously from yourself with wisdom, insight, and knowledge. Blessed are you, Yahweh, gracious giver of knowledge. Bring us back, our Father, to your Torah, and bring us near our King to your service, and influence us to return in perfect repentance before you. Blessed are you, Yahweh, who desires repentance. Forgive us, our Father, for we have erred. Pardon us, our King, for we have willfully sinned. For you are the good and forgiving God. Blessed are you, Yahweh, the gracious one, who pardons abundantly. Behold, please, our affliction, and take up our grievance, and redeem us with a complete redemption speedily for your name's sake. For you are, the good, you are God, the powerful Redeemer. Blessed are you, Yahweh, Redeemer of Israel. Heal us, Yahweh, then we will be healed. Save us, then we will be saved. For you are our praise. Bring cure and healing for all our illnesses and all our sufferings and all our ailments. Now we take personal prayer for healing. Anyone that has a healing prayer, lift it up to Yahweh right now in Yeshua's name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. For you are God, King, the faithful and compassionate healer. Blessed are you, Yahweh, who heals the sick of his people Israel. Bless on our behalf, O Yahweh, our God, this year and all its kind of crops for the best. And give dew and rain for blessing on the face of the earth. And satisfy us from its bounty. And bless our year like the best years for blessing. For you are the good and beneficent God who blesses the years. Blessed are you, Yahweh, who blesses the years. Sound the great shofar for our liberty and raise a banner to gather our exiles. Gather us together from the four corners of the earth. Blessed are you, Yahweh, who gathers in the dispersed of his people Israel. Restore our judges as in the earliest times and our counselors as at first. Remove from us sorrow and groan, and speedily reign over us, you, Yahweh, alone, with kindness and compassion, and justify us through righteousness and judgment. Blessed are you, Yahweh, the King, who loves righteousness and judgment. On the righteous, on the devout, on the elders of the remainder of your people of the family of Israel, on the remnant of the academy of their scholars, on the righteous converts, and on ourselves, may your compassion be aroused. Please, Yahweh our Elohim, and give goodly reward to all who sincerely believe in your name. Put our lot with them, and may we never feel ashamed, for we trust in you. And upon your truly great compassion do we rely. Blessed are you, Yahweh, mainstay and assurance of the righteous. And to Jerusalem, your city, may you return in compassion. And may you rest within it as you have spoken. May you rebuild it soon in our days as an eternal structure. And may you speedily establish the throne of your servant David within it. Blessed are you, Yahweh, the builder of Jerusalem. The sprout of David, your servant Yeshua, our Messiah, quickly caused to flourish. And exalt his power with your servant with your salvation, 
because your salvation we hope all day long. Blessed are you, Yahweh, who causes to flourish the power of salvation in Yeshua, our Messiah. Merciful Father, hear our voice. Yahweh, our Elohim, pity and be compassionate to us and accept with compassion and favor prayer. For Yahweh, who hears prayers and supplications are you. From before yourself, our King, turn us not away empty-handed. Be gracious with us, answer us, and hear our prayer. And now we take time for your prayers. Lift them up to Yahweh right now. Remember, this is the Day of Atonement. This is the day to pray more than ever before. So no thinking about food or any other distractions. And lift those prayers up to Yahweh right now in Yeshua's name. Thank you, Father, for this wonderful day. For you hear the prayer of each mouth of your people, Israel, with compassion. Blessed are you, Yahweh, who hears prayers. Be favorable, Yahweh, our God, toward your people, Israel. Turn to their prayer and restore the service to the Holy of Holies of your temple. Speedily accept the fire offerings of Israel and their prayer with love and favor. And may the service of your people Israel always be favorable to you. May your eyes behold your return to Zion in compassion. Blessed are you, Yahweh, who restores his presence to Zion. We gratefully thank you, for it is you who are Yahweh, our God, and the God of our forefathers for all eternity. Our rock, the rock of our lives, shield of our salvation, are you from generation to generation. We shall thank you and relate your praise for our lives, which are committed to your power, and for our souls that are entrusted to you, for your miracles that are with us every day, and for your wonders and favors in every season. Evening, morning, and afternoon, the beneficial one, for your compassions were never exhausted, and the compassionate one, for your kindness never ended. For we have always put our hope in you, for all these, may your name be blessed, exalted, and extolled. Our King, continually, forever and ever. Everything alive will gratefully acknowledge you, Selah. And praise and bless your great name sincerely forever. For it is good. O God of our salvation and help, Selah. The beneficial God, blessed are you, Yahweh. Your name is the beneficial one. And to you it is fitting to give thanks. Establish peace, goodness, blessings, life, graciousness, kindness, and compassion upon us and upon all your people, Israel. Bless us, our Father, all of us as one with the light of your countenance. For with the light of your countenance, you gave us Yahweh, our God, the Torah of life, and a love, and a love, of, bitter, a love of kindness, righteousness, blessing, compassion, life, and peace. And may it be good in your eyes to bless us and bless all your people, Israel, in every season and every hour with your peace. Blessed are you, Yahweh, who blesses his people, Israel, with peace. May the expression of my mouth and the thoughts of my heart find favor before you, Yahweh, my rock and my redeemer. He who makes peace in his heights, may he make peace upon us and upon all Israel. And this I pray, that our love may abound still more and more in knowledge, and all discernment, that we may approve the things that are excellent, that we may be sincere and without offense till the day of Messiah, being filled with the fruits of righteousness, which are by Yeshua Messiah, to the glory and praise of Yahweh. And I pray that the Father would grant us, according to the, the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with might through his Spirit in the inner man, that Messiah may dwell in our hearts, through faith, that we being rooted and grounded in love may be able to comprehend with all the saints what is the width and the length and the depth and the height, to know the love of Messiah which passes knowledge, that we may be filled with all the fullness of Yahweh. Now may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace and believing that we may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit, our Father who is in heaven, hallowed by your name, your kingdom come, your will be done. As it is in heaven, also on the earth, 
Give us the bread of our need this day and forgive us our offenses as we have also forgiven those who have offended us. And do not lead us into trial, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. And so, dear brothers and sisters, I plead with you to give your bodies to Yahweh because all he has done for you. Let them be a living and a holy sacrifice, the kind he will find acceptable. This is true the way to worship him. Don't copy the behavior and customs of this world, but let Yahweh transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. And then you will learn to know Yahweh's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. In view of all this, make every effort to respond to Yahweh's promises. Supplement your faith with a general provision of moral excellence and moral excellence with knowledge and knowledge with self-control and self-control with patient endurance and patient endurance with godliness and godliness with brotherly affection and brotherly affection with a love for everyone. Yahweh rewarded me according to my righteousness. According to the cleanse of my hands, he has repaid me. For I have kept the ways of Yahweh, and I have not evilly departed from my Elohim. I pray all this in the name of Yahshua, our wonderful Messiah. Remember the seven things we're supposed to do as believers. Pray, praise, proclaim, read and repent, submit and rejoice in our wonderful creator. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you for listening to our morning prayers on this day of atonement. Uh, Yom Kippur. Thank you, everybody, for being here. We're going to be doing our morning suffer well devotional soon. Remember, you know, if you can, today is a day to afflict your souls. So if you can today fast, uh, if for some reason you can't fast, just try to uh, take it real easy today and stay away from your pleasures, your fleshly desires, and just seek Yah today. I'm going to sing a song for you now, and then we'll start our Morning devotional here in a few minutes. I come to the garden alone While the dew is still on the roses And the voice I hear Falling on my ear The Son of God discloses and he walks with me, and he talks with me, and he tells me I am his own. And the joy we share as we tarry there, none other has ever known. He speaks, and the sound of his voice is so sweet, the birds hush their singing. And the melody that he gave to me within my heart is ringing. And he walks with me, and he talks with me. And he tells me I am his own. And the joy we share as we tarry there, none other has ever known. I'd stay in the garden with him. Through the night around me is falling. But he bids me go. Through the voice of woe, his voice to me is calling. And he walks with me, and he talks with me, and he tells me I am his own. And the joy we share as we tarry there. None other has ever known. Hallelujah, everybody. Have a blessed day today. I'll be back with my morning devotional here in a few minutes. Yahweh be with you all, and shalom, shalom.